Recently, Discard asked me to collaborate with him on doing a video for some game display tips and tricks from my collection to do on his channel. In case you missed it, you should definitely check it out. There's a card up in the top right hand corner that you can go ahead and click on. But one of the topics that I had covered was how to display your digital Nintendo Switch games. What did you say? Now I know what you're saying. Digital Nintendo Switch games? Well, yeah, there's a ton of really good ones. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to make cases for your digital Switch collection so those games can get some love on your shelf too. So the first step when you're doing this is to go ahead and acquire some cases. This is actually easier said than done and Nintendo will shockingly actually sell them to you directly. And even better, you can buy them in either a size of one or five at a time. I mean, as long as you're paying for shipping, you might as well get five, so I'm gonna go ahead and order five. All right, with the uh, cases on order, there's uh, three different spots to go ahead and get art. And I'll go ahead and show a couple of them here, but uh, the first one I'm gonna show is uh, on Google Drive, and this is actually my Google Drive. These are, you know, various cases that I've made over time uh, and the artwork for them. So I went ahead and shared all those so that you can even get my Photoshop files and uh, go ahead and even, ha I have templates in there for you to make your own. Also wanna just give a shout out to the Reddit group over here. They're awesome. They've got tons of different art designs and people are updating it constantly. It's actually really nice. Now that you got your art, next is to go ahead and get some uh, paper to print it on. And I don't like using just regular photocopy paper. I think it doesn't look that great. Uh, actually, what I recommend is this, this Office Depot presentation paper. It works out really nicely, and on top of that, it's really inexpensive. For 100 sheets, it costs about $17. With art and paper, the only thing left is to go ahead and get it printed. To do the cutting here, I'm going to go ahead and use one of these paper cutters. This is really nice. It's basically a razor blade on a slide. Makes it super easy. Nice straight cuts, but you could use scissors as well. But uh, as you can see, I've got quite a few of these to do. So let's montage through them real quick. And fuck you. All right, cutting's all done. And here's what your package looks like when you order it from Nintendo. This has five Switch cases in it, so let's go ahead and bust this thing open and get the art in there. Sliding in the art's incredibly easy. The one thing I'd recommend is just creasing the spine of the case once you've got the art in there, and it'll keep it nice and flush. Let's load the art into a few more cases, and let's get them all done. Overall, these turned out absolutely fantastic. And I went a little bit further than I had to, and not only did I print the front and back cover the way you would normally ex expect, but I also printed all the inlays on the inside as well, which I, I personally think is a really cool and nice extra feature. But perhaps the best part about this entire thing is the colors on this turned out absolutely excellent, and it matches the original Switch cases really well. So when these things are sitting there lined up on your shelf or in your display area, they're gonna look like they came straight from Nintendo, which at the end of the day, it's exactly what you want. Well guys, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please give me a comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys for the next one here soon.